It is the largest and most populous country among the three Baltic states, including Estonia and Latvia. Although there are low hills in the east and west, the country generally consists of plain regions. In this country, greenery is given great importance and its nature. They are never obtained, so much so that 30% of the country's territory consists of forests and natural habitats. The capital of the country is unknown. And if we look at this country on the map, we can see that it is located in the northeast of Europe. Today, states such as Belarus, Latvia, Poland are the border neighbors of Lithuania, modern Lithuania. Their ancestors settled in these lands in the 1200s BC. In the 1200s BC, a king named Bendalgus managed to gather these Baltic tribes under one roof. Therefore, the national consciousness of the Lithuanian lands, which has a culture of life for thousands of years, started around the 12th century. In those years, they lived in small communities and adopted paganism, an old form of belief. By the end of the 14th century, the ladies accepted Christianity, and within a few centuries, they became one of the states with the largest territory in Europe. So how did they achieve this? Lithuania became today's country as of the 15th century. The ancestors of Poland united with Poland, which enabled Poland-Lithuania, one of the largest states of European lands at that time, to survive and continue its Baltic lineage. However, around the 18th century, the Russians brought fearful times to both you and Lithuania, and this empire collapsed. The people of Lithuania who have needed Russian occupation since this period, could not escape the Soviet occupations despite declaring their independence in 1918. Finally, in 1990, the country gained independence for the second time and 15 years later, they joined the European Union. It has a population of about 3 million and is the largest in this country, which has 103 cities. Each geographical region has its own capitals, but since the country is small, those who go to this country generally prefer to go to the capital, because, as in almost every country, the most attractive elements are located in the capital. And life in general terms, it flows to this country from Los Angeles with local and foreign airline companies. There are regular flights there, direct or indirect. What do you say? Going directly from America to Lithuania does not cost you very long hours, so that you can reach Lithuanian territory after only two and a half hours by plane. Of course, it is possible to reach this country by road or rail from Riga, the capital of Latvia. Moreover, the best thing about living in European countries is that you can travel from one country to another by train. This is one of the best opportunities that the formation of the European Union has brought to European people. Normally, do not focus much on the weather conditions of the countries. However, the weather conditions of this country can make people a little cold from life, especially in the winter months. Due to the Baltic climate, you can be exposed to dark days for weeks in the country and you are longing for the sun, so to speak. Yes, they have over 800 rivers and more than 2,500 clean green lakes. What do you say? The taste of this prayer paradise is only in a quarter of the year. For the rest of the year, the weather is cloudy and it rains. In winter, temperatures can drop to minus 20. If you are going to this country from Alaska, there is no problem. But if you are going from Los Angeles, your job is hard. People have taken that away from the weather conditions. And just for this reason, there are many citizens who want to go to other European countries. So much so that if you go to this country, you can even witness it snowing in May. Also, almost everyone in the country takes vitamin D supplements. Because only two or three months of the 12 months of the year are sunny. That's why people most of the year, they cannot benefit from the vitamins coming from the sun. For such reasons, with the development of the transportation system, the young people of the region have been leaving the country for about 20 years. There is another problem related to Lithuania. However, this time it is not about who is there. It is about the people, please and have fun. And they are especially people who are extremely fond of alcohol, especially on weekends. We do not know. You may come across drunk people who have lost their composure due to drinking on the streets. This situation is considered quite normal there. In addition, since there are a lot of Erasmus students in the country, the dosage of social life is a little exaggerated and they are open to themselves in terms of drinking. Even their favorite beverage, beer, has more than 50 varieties in this country. Moreover, a significant portion of Lithuanian people may surprise you. They can show rude attitudes like Jack, 
I think this must be because they are nationalists. In addition, some people are almost in smiling because the coverage area of the country is narrow and the life activities in the country are not expected from you. If you want to go to a European country and start a social life there, what you can do in Lithuania is to drink beer in places and have a picnic by the lake. In this sense, you should not keep your expectations high because it may upset you in terms of liveliness. In general, half of the country plays poker. The other half spends their free time with basketball players, so to speak. They value basketball as if it were tied tightly to something. It wouldn't be wrong to say that this country is the homeland of basketball. Also, if you are going from America, the food culture in our cuisine and the food in Lithuania are quite far from each other. The food is usually seafood. Imagine, you consume things like sea bass, sea bream and eel 4-5 days a week. Or let's say you want soup and you go to a restaurant, and they serve you pumpkin soup or cucumber soup. By the way, they also love pork. For example, they have a dish similar to manti called tamping, and you use it as manti. When you put it in your mouth and eat it, you become acidic. From these to pork meats, agriculture has not developed in this country due to the unfavorable land of the country. For this reason, Lithuanian people have a mediocre food culture. On the other hand, Lithuania's economy has a small but developing structure. Among the Baltic states, Lithuania has the most developed economy, especially Europe. Thanks to the Union, they supported the service and industry sectors and it is out of the question for them to fall into a possible crisis. Even if there is no European Union factor, it would not be an exaggeration to say that students are pouring into this country from almost every country. The country receives a lot of students both with Erasmus programs and the work of private language schools. Therefore, there is a student sector in Lithuania. The most important source of income of the country is based on students coming from abroad. But if you are a student and you ask me, I would say that you should go to other European countries instead of going there. When the country's biggest income is foreign students, businesses that make money from this business promote Lithuania to the outside world. For example, students come to the country. They cannot suffer there will be serious shocks in their economy. Because this country offers extremely limited opportunities even in terms of places to visit, let me tell you that the country has a current population of nearly 3 million. And almost half of this population does not have a decent job. Yes, prayers, lakes, clean air, being away from political chaos. And most importantly, being a European country sounds good enough. But the probability of not finding a decent profitable job is quite high in this country. Friends, as a result, job opportunities are really low there. And since they are nationalists, they primarily hire their own people or European Union citizens for the available jobs. Also, they will not be able to stay there for a long time. You may encounter a typical European racism due to your Turkish identity. Introduce the water. Excluded. It is possible for me too. They are generally cold towards not only the Americans, but also the Indian, Pakistani or Middle Eastern societies. Therefore, even if you go just for education, you may or may not find the warmth and sincerity you expect. The country is local in general. It consists of the elderly and foreign young people who go there for different purposes. Those who emigrate from the country are generally men and go to Scandinavian countries. Therefore, the number of women in Lithuania is quite high. 60% of the population consists of women. In this sense, it is one of the countries with the highest number of women compared to its population. Therefore, women in Lithuania are you may see them as a bus driver or witness them doing heavy work in a construction site, or when a man goes for a haircut, he is shaved by female barbers. As a result, someone has to do these professions in the country and due to the lack of men, many sectors are run by women. Their perspective on life is focused on peace and love rather than focused on money and new excitement. Women are generally widows and abandoned by their husbands. I think the most basic thing the women there look for consists of spiritual issues such as love and loyalty. In addition, every year in Lithuania, 26 out of 100,000 people die. Friends, in this sense, one of the top 10 countries in the world that commits suicide is Lithuania. In Lithuania, where the Christian population is predominant, 80% of the people seem to be Christians, but there is no religious social structure there. Due to the influence of modernism, the effect of religion on social life is low and the phenomenon of religion is social. It does not direct your life. In the light of all this, if you want to go to Lithuania to work and settle, 
you need to get a work visa and apply for a residence permit. Friends, the money you will earn there will be good because it is a European country. The advantage is that the Lithuanian local people are higher because they have set their sights on higher levels. They are going to European countries that give high salaries. I have already mentioned this please. Or, since the salaries are low, the job sectors in this country are reserved for women and the elderly. Therefore, if you want to start your business life in Europe, please either live in small European countries like or get a work permit in countries like Germany, Italy, Switzerland. It is easier compared to that. So, if we have a profession and your record is clean please, or it is quite possible to work. Your residence permit application is finalized within an average of two months. In this sense, you do not experience loading difficulties as in Poland. Even if you work in a job that does not require qualifications, the minimum wage you will receive will be 800 euros. Because the minimum wage is 800 euros, it is forbidden to employ workers below the wage rate and there are heavy penalties. The minimum wage amount is a somewhat symbolic value in European countries. In Lithuania, this wage alone is always $100 more than the minimum wage. It is around $300. There, red meat currently costs 7 to 9 euros per kilo. This daily video ends here. Take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe.